Hello, this is Cartman Productions, and today we're going to be doing a video on how to sort your Pokemon properly. At least how I recommend sorting your Pokemon, especially if you have a very large collection. Like I do, mine's about 3,000 different cards. So, uh, yeah, sorting them can be quite the challenge. This is, by the way, this is the result of hours of painstaking work. Ah, oh, gosh, that took a lot of time. But anyways, uh, let's get into this. So these are sorted by uh, set series. So, like, these have a ton of different series is from uh, Wizards of the Coast. There should be an EX one in between there. I just haven't finished that one yet. And there's Diamond and Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Black and White, XY, and Sun and Moon. I'm also going to be having more for, like, the Nintendo Pop series and stuff. And then I also haven't gotten the trainer kits in, um, and then I also need to put McDonald's cards in there, but I have everything else other than that. Let me know if I'm missing anything, but I believe I should have everything. We're not going to go through everything, but I'm just going to showcase how I have this sorted. So, see here I have a page protector and then a paper with a printed off Sun and Moon logo. I'm going to go in here, and these are sorted by number. So there's a spot for every card. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The way you look at it is... Uh, come on, focus. Go okay, well, anyway. There we go. You see that? 9 out of 149. That's where you want to look. Um, and then you want to sort the cards by number. So, like, you have the lowest number on the top of whatever stack you have. And then the highest number on the bottom. And then you just put the proper number of pages in. Each page holds 18 cards if you use both sides. And then put them in there. Also, when you're adding cards, uh, you can just look and say, Hey, I have number 12. So say... Ah, number 12. Uh, from Sun and Moon, Guardians Rising. Okay, do 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 Oh, here's Guardians Rising. Okay. Uh, back first page, number 12. Oh, look, I don't have that one. I can put it in. Or, Sun and Moon, oh, Shining Legends, number, I don't know, 130? No, not 130. Um... I don't know, um, 37, oh, look, there we go, I have 37, so, if I have a new card, but then that's number 37, if that card, in this case, no, that's only an uncommon, okay, so if it was a reverse holo version, then I would replace this ordinary version with the reverse holo version, because the reverse holo one's better, uh, and then I would put that one in a trade pile. Oh, I have a trade pile over there. I'll explain trading later. But that's what I do. Uh, and then if I get, like, two GXs, I'll just put them away. Uh, I just won't... I won't stack them up in the same slot. I'll just put them away. But anyways, so yeah, that's how I sort it. Um, here we're going to go ahead and take a look at a older binder. Give you some nostalgia, some of you. Platinum. There's not many cards in this spot here, but, like, for instance, there's number 19 out of 127. But, yeah, so. And then there's Platinum Rising Rivals. The reason why this is just text is because I couldn't find the actual one for it, so. Anyways, yeah, that's how I start Pokemon here. Um... Another way you can do it with a smaller collection is you could just do, uh, oh, you could just do it by power and then have, like, the nice cards in front and then do it by type after that. And then inside those you do it by power and then have the evolution chains connected and everything. Uh, that's what I used to do, but now I do it like this. So, uh, the, here are the pros and cons of this. Um, pros makes it really easy to find a specific card, makes it really easy to be able to trade, be able to put new cards in, and it leaves a spot for every single card so you don't have to keep resorting your binder and uh, getting all the cards uh, damaged. However, the cons. This is a very costly thing to do. If you're doing this from scratch, uh, you need to print off about 150 pages, at least, because um, there's more than what's just here. 
uh, you need to print off like 150 pages, 150, 200 pages. And then uh, you would also need, oh, I believe it's 30 of those, uh, no, not 30. Um, I forgot how many, but it's like 100 bucks worth of just Pokemon pages. And then another, uh, pay, it's a page protector for every single page you print off. So you need to print off like 150 pages, and then you need 150 page protectors. And then you need about 10 or 15 different binders of different sizes. Uh, you can see what I have here. Um, but, uh, yeah, go ahead and leave a comment on this video if you have any questions, have any ideas for new videos. Uh, and this is Cartman Productions. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!